welcome to another edition of DreamBuilders.Club. I'm Jason Chi, and I'm here with my co-host, Ronnie Cruz. And today, we're going to dig deeper into contact and inviting. In our last episode, we did show you and cover the three fundamentals of building your network marketing business. So in this episode, we're actually going to dig really deep into contacting and inviting. And this is going to be one of the most important and also the most difficult thing right. for most people in the industry. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. correct. In, in, in my experience, Jason, uh, contacting and inviting is really one of the biggest hurdles uh, that people experience in this business, especially uh, when they're first getting started. Uh, so we're going to try to cover as much as we can in this episode, but uh, more than likely, uh, we will we will be addressing this topic, uh, covering this topic again in a future episode. But um, to 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 really get into it, contacting inviting is is kind of the bread and butter, and, and and for me, in my experience anyway, Jason, it's it's one of the most it's 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 the fundamental that people really just kind of avoid the most. Uh, I, I think I think because of. Uh, you know, fear of fear of rejection, fear fear of people saying no, fear of failure, uh, fear of uh, just just being laughed at, and fear of being judged. All these kind of fears come into play. Just fear uh, in general. In general, yeah. when 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 you when you approach somebody about about your your network marketing, um, either your products, your services, or even even your opportunity. Um, so th this is why this particular uh, fundamental, this particular skill. I think it is, is so very, very, very crucial uh, because especially for very brand new people, it's, they oftentimes never really get over and, and kind of master this fundamental. And without mastering this fundamental, everything else falls apart. It's like having, having, having you know, the cornerstone uh, of, of a giant skyscraping that you're building and, and you, you, it's, it's not there, the whole skyscraper will come tumbling down. So. Um, this is really one of those things that I, 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 I really want you guys all to pay attention to and really develop and, and just really attack um, because there are a lot of, a lot of things out there that, that are going to tell you that you don't need to do it, honestly. I, I, I've seen in my experience in the last you know, 10 years or so in this profession, Jason, especially with the, with the internet and, and with the rise of social media, of... of you know, systems and things telling you that you don't need to talk to your friends and family, you know, you can build on fully automated, you can build a network marketing business, uh, you know, uh, while you're asleep, you know, those kind of things prey on the, on, on the exact fears that I was talking about earlier. Uh, those, those, uh, and, and really the thing is they're doing two things. A, they're selling you their funded proposal for the most part, <laughs> which is what I've always seen. And B, they're they're kind of encouraging that that fear of facing that that fear of facing what you actually need to do. You know what I mean? And and that's talking to people. I mean, this is network marketing. This profession, right? Uh, and and correct me if I'm uh, if I'm way off base, Jason. Network marketing is about people. It's about relationships. It's about communication. It's about networking. Exactly. That's why it's called <laughs> it's networking, called, right? It's not called internet marketing, right? It's called exactly. network marketing. Exactly. So, so these are the kind of things that that we like. Contacting and inviting is such a is such a huge, huge, and and crucial part of the puzzle uh, that that so so many people miss because they try to avoid it. They really, literally try to avoid it. And 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 those things, those uh, those distractions, encourage them, encourage them to avoid it. And and what I want to encourage you guys is. Is just face it because it's not as scary as, as you think, and and uh, once you kind of you know get it under your belt and master this fundamental, you you can really do some amazing things with your business, and you can help. More importantly, you can help so many more people so um, uh, do do some amazing things. So um, uh, let me get off my soapbox, Jason, and and let's let's really dig deep into this. And and, and what is what is kind of in your opinion, in your experience, what is the key to uh, contacting and inviting. Well, you know, it, it's something that I tell our teams all the time. It's, it's, we're not selling a product. We're not selling an opportunity. We're not selling a service. But 
you might ask, what are we selling then? What we're really selling is we're selling solutions. I mean, how many of you guys out there have, you know, watching this video, how many of you guys have, have actually had somebody where you're, you're talking to somebody, you're going through your, your whole spiel, and they ask you, so how much is this? And as soon as you tell them the price, they're gone. That's too expensive. I don't want to do it. You know, the way that I, I, I tell my, our teams is if somebody asks you how much the price is, you've said too much already. Right. You know, in the invite, you know, once you get into the presentation, it's a lot different. But in the invite, you don't want to give out so much information that they're going to ask you for a price. Right. Okay. So, again, if we're selling solutions, how much is that solution worth to you? It's priceless. Yeah. You know, so you should never get to that point where you're actually getting that person to ask you how much the price is. And that's basically what you got to remember here is you're selling a solution. Exactly. Exactly. Um, and, you yeah, know, that's actually that's actually the core of it, because, you know, if, if it, it's that it's that differentiation between uh, a motive and, and your intention. Exactly. Um, and, and this is something, again, that that uh, I, I've been preaching of uh, trying to get drum into to 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 network marketers heads is that there's a difference between your motive and your intention now your motive obviously is you know uh, all of our motives we want to succeed in this business we want to be able to to create a business that that will give us the residual income to to so that we can live the life we want to live for ourselves for our family for our loved ones right that's our motive that's why we do this business but when you're going to each situation, when you're when you're meeting a person in the grocery, when you're meeting a person in a restaurant, um, the intention cannot be that I need to sign this person up to, so I can achieve my dreams. No, that's 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 not that cannot be the intention. That might be your motive, but the intention is maybe that maybe I can help that individual that I'm talking to. Maybe that person sitting across the table from me has a problem that I can present the solution for it's all about making that connection the attention from 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 making that initial contact to inviting them to even the presentation collecting a decision even even when you're when they're already on your team when they're already part of your organization and 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 you're helping the intention always is how can i help this individual exactly and you know going from from that point forward a lot of times when you know, and I'm guilty of this. When when we're brand new in the profession, sure, sure, absolutely. You know, you actually end up going. Your your conversation goes a little something like this. Hmm. Hi, my name is. This is my opportunity. Blah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. and and that's that's pretty much how it goes. It's natural. Yeah. It, it's just natural. And, and if if that's what you're doing right now, I'm glad you found this video because you know, solution based sales is so much better. You know, it's like, like Ronnie was saying, it's, it's your intention. You know, your intention is how can I solve this person's problem? You know, and if you do that, you know, the sky's the limit. You, right. can, you can help so many people. Yeah, exactly. And the thing is, I mean, network marketing is making that connection. It is, it is being that solution for, for people. And, and, and if you can be that solution for enough people, then, then the motive that you had and you're holding on to which you need to hold on to don't get me wrong that that's very important the motive that you're holding on to will eventually get met you know yes. your 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 dreams and all that stuff will get taken care of your goals uh, your aspirations will get taken care of if if you just spend enough time making sure that the individual sitting across from you is helped exactly so where else would would you want to go with this um what what would you say is your keys to contacting? And Honestly, uh, you know what? For me personally, uh, like the truth of the matter is, I've always been a shy individual, yes. and and you know I don't want to claim that. I don't want to speak that into reality. But uh, it's just knowing that about myself and and how I was in the past. I've always been very shy, so striking up conversations has never been easy, especially when it comes to having you know, the business <laughs> in the back of my head. Like yes. it's, it's, it's so, it's so daunting. So for me, contacting and, and inviting is really, it's really just making that connection. I mean, it's, uh, for uh, like human beings want connection. They want to be, they want to feel that, 
that that connectedness to, to to another person because otherwise then it's it's such a lonely existence that's why we're such a social species right, right. so so without without any intention again without any motive excuse me without any motive just strike up a conversation and 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 that's how you start that's how you start getting good at it for me as a shy individual um as, as an introvert i just i just started out striking up conversations whether it be with the you know, when I'm in a restaurant with, with a server or in the checkout line with the person checking, you know, at the cashier, you know, those are, those are captive audience. So naturally, you know, you can strike up those conversations and you practice and you practice and you get better at striking conversation. And eventually you can get to a point where you're what we call forming and, and you can, you can find out about their family, their occupation, their, you know, you can, you can guide the conversation in a way where you can see whether or not that individual has a need or has a problem that you can potentially um, uh, present the solution for. Sure. And, and, and you know, I, I'm, I apologize because I don't remember who I heard this quote from. But um, one of the things that I, I did hear was you have to go into every conversation without an ulterior motive or right. without an agenda. Without an agenda. Without exactly. an agenda. Exactly. So that's one of the things that we're talking about. Just go into every conversation without an agenda. You know, and if you need to practice it, the best way to practice it is just to start conversation. And like what Ronnie was alluding to earlier was forming, you know, family, occupation, recreation, motivation or money. You know, if you ask questions about these these four things, you can find out a lot of information about somebody. Right. And, and, you know, the, the funny thing about, you know, I, I don't know if it's our society or if it's people in general or what, what it is, but if you ask somebody questions, they're naturally going to want to complain about what's <laughs> wrong in their life. That's true. And, and, and that true. I don't know why it happens. But, again, if, if people are complaining about things, you're hearing all the problems. Right. So you have to figure out how your opportunity, products, whatever it might be, can be a solution to that problem that they just brought up. You know, one of the easiest ways to, to do it is, hey, so what are you doing nowadays? Of course, they're going to tell you about their job. And you can always follow up by saying, hey, that sounds amazing. And everybody, they're going to say, no, it's not really that great. <laughs> you know, the pay is done, the, right, the, right. the hours are bad, the, you know, whatever it might be. And, and, and there's your opportunity to, yeah. to, to provide a solution, right, right, you know. No, that's that's absolutely true, and and again, this is a topic that really we could spend a whole day on, oh, and I and I think so. we will revisit this. Yes. Um, but I think to wrap it up, to sum it all up, uh, the the best piece of advice that I, that I can give you, and it, especially when we're talking about cold market and and cold market, warm market, we'll cover again in in, in another video, but. Um, in a future contacting inviting video. Well, well just to, to explain it, I, I know most people know about warm market and cold markets, but for those of you who, who might be new to this industry and have never heard it, your warm market is basically your friends and family. Mm. And your cold market, they're, they're basically your acquaintances, people you meet at the market, people you haven't talked to in a while, you know, old high school friends that you haven't seen in 10 years. Right. Those are your cold markets. Right. So right. you're going you're gonna to treat each of those two differently, very right. differently. Right, right, exactly. Um, Yes, exactly, and thank you for pointing that out. Um, that that saves us from doing a whole another episode. <laughs> yeah, right. But uh, I, I think uh, the the thing that I wanted to close with is is um, you know whether cold market or, or warm market, the, the best way to 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 open up the contacting and biting uh, fundamental the, that that skill is one simple word. It's two letters, and that's just saying hi. Yes. So. That's it. Um, my name is Ronnie Cruz. This is my good friend, Jason Chang. Tune in next time for another episode of DreamBuilders.club. Dream See you next time.